Congressman Adam Kinzinger said after the speech that he looks forward to more positive and productive rhetoric in Washington. And Congressman, I appreciate uh, your being with me uh, this morning. Uh, well, let's talk about that. How is that something that you can achieve while the 2016 race is going on? Well, look, it's going to be tough. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, and it's probably going to take a couple years to change the tone in Washington. I mean, you know, frankly, from before Obama, uh, under Bush, and, and then under Obama, it's just gotten a lot worse. And, and sides have been more divided. And less is the day where people act as statesmen and have real good debates. I mean, we're supposed to have pretty fiery debates out here. But at the end of the day, try to find common ground or at least not hate each other. And where I get concerned is, you know, I hear about people sitting around the Thanksgiving dinner table that disagree on a political issue and then don't talk about their kids or anything because of that disagreement. So I'm all for hardcore debates. I'm a conservative. But at the end of the day, we're one country united with the same mission. And we just happen to see how to get there differently. Well, you're saying uh, achieving that in a couple of years, but let's talk about now in, in this uh, election year here. How can you separate the inflammatory rhetoric of the campaign trail that we're seeing and hearing uh, from the business there at Capitol Hill? We're just going to have to do it. I mean, Capitol Hill, a lot of the cliffs and stuff that we were looking at last year are gone this year. We have an appropriations bill. We'll go through an appropriations process. Some of that will be divisive. Uh, some of it will not. But I think it's going to be important as the Republicans settle on our nominee. I'm a Jeb Bush supporter. Uh, I like his tone. I like his, his outreach. Um, and I think he'd be a great leader. But as we settle on a nominee, I think we have to build, as Republicans, a positive vision, that shining city on a hill, and reach out to Democrats and say, okay, you know, Hillary or Bernie, and then our nominee are going to fight it out. But at the end of the day, we can still get some things done over here. And then the next president, the new president, can come in with whoever controls the House mm -hmm. and Senate and achieve big things for the American people. Uh, and that person is Donald Trump. Will you support him? Huh. Well, that's something I have to look pretty strongly at. Look, I want to support the Republican nominee. Uh, I'd support any of them. Uh, but Donald Trump, I'd have to look long and hard at, see what his tone is. Uh, I think some of the things he's said, you can't ban a religion that violates the Constitution. As somebody that's been overseas and understands how important our moderate Muslim friends are to us. Uh, but I would like to endorse him if he's a nominee. I don't think he'll be there, though. Well, I don't think he's going to be the well, nominee. Well, you say you want to look long and hard to see what his tone is. Uh, many will argue, wait, his tone is, has been very clear. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. And I've been I, I've condemned it. I think it's wrong. Uh, but let's see how he talks into the future. Like I said, that's really dealing with a lot of what ifs. I don't think he's going to get there. I think we have a lot of great candidates besides Donald Trump. I personally think he's topped out at 30 some percent. So as people drop out, they'll consolidate behind not Donald Trump. And I hopefully will not be put in the position where I have to make that decision. Congressman Adam Kinzinger, thank you very much for your time.